Dodging torpedoes. Emergency evasive! Fire everything! Ahoy hi, I'm Catherine. And I'm Jay. I'm Michael. And today we are talking about the Star Trek Blu-ray. First, let's just start off by saying, holy crap, I grew up on Star Trek. This is awesome. I never thought that they would reinvigorate the series to be mm. so bloody amazing. Is Star Trek finally cooler than Star Wars? Correct. Oh god, yes. This, oh, so much better than this. Han Solo's rolling ones. in his fucking grave. So, this starts off, first of all, what I liked is that they um, made sure to make it that this is a new reality. They even pointed out that because something changed, because there's a bad guy that goes back in time, but now everything can go in a different direction. With the same characters, which yeah. is brilliant. So then it's... they can go anywhere. Now they're not, you know, confined to a box. They yeah. can go wherever they want, which is these great. These, these actors aren't going to be spending time with whales. So there's a bad guy, Nero, and he wants to get his revenge on Spock for destroying Romulus, which wasn't really Spock's fault. He was coming to save it. He just was too late to save it. He's always late. So, uh, also, you get to see how Spock and Kirk became friends. Yeah. At the beginning of this movie, they do not like each other. Mm -hmm. Kirk cheats on Spock's chat test, just like it was said in, in that. Oh, they bring back so many things that people have seen the show. They took the best things they could ever think of and put it in here. They didn't just take random things from Star Trek and say, you know, this is going to be good here. They took things that were classic parts of the series and just amplified them yeah. for the hardcore fans. But people who've never even seen Star Trek could love this movie. Yeah, and I think what really helped with that is that they had um, a creative team that, you know, there was one side that had seen everything Star Trek related. Everything, knew all the facts, lived and breathed it. And then there was someone who had seen maybe like one or two episodes. Uh, so I think that's what really helped make it a good movie, not just a good Star Trek movie. Exactly. And it helped that J.J. Abrams hardly knows anything about the show, so he could have a new set of eyes and look at the story and see what's right with it and what's wrong with it. Yep. And they de definitely do a lot of homages to the original series, such as huge fans will know that Captain Kirk was not going to be the captain of the USS Enterprise in the original series, it was Captain Pike. So they do that in this movie. The new guy that's always wearing the red uniform, he's going to die, and that happens in this yeah, movie. They, yeah, and the green girl, they brought that as well. Mm -hmm. um, a whole bunch of really cool, and even like just lines. Uh, instead of making it cheesy and having, you know, Bones say like, I'm only a doctor, man! Yeah. Like you're thinking, you know, you could do that really cheesy and it could sound like crap, or you could do it really well, and I think they did. That guy's great, by the way. The guy yeah, the casting in general, <laughs> yeah. I think everyone to a T, they did such a good job. They definitely tried to stay away from the new Star Wars feeling. Uh, it's mentioned in the documentaries that they didn't want to make Star Wars. There's no pod racing in this. Yeah. They don't want to make it slow and things like that. This whole movie is entertaining. This whole movie you're interested. From the beginning, stuff is happening and you want to keep watching. And one thing they pulled off really well was the battles in space. The actual um, size of the ships compared yep. to the, the Romulan uh, mining ship. And not just that, but the cin cinematography of this. Like, it's amazing. Star Trek battles are so boring, I'm sorry, but the way it's they like shoot chess. them, it's like... It's like Sun Marine. Do! Camera, like, this, you see the ship, you're upside down, and the camera rotates around. Yeah, or like it'll start in the bridge, come out of it, and exactly. then you'll be on top of the ship. Like, it was amazing how they did that. The Enterprise would be, you know, this size, and because the Romulan ship is this you know, huge, huge thing. It really was in the computer. It was actually seven miles long in the computer. In the computer, so all the detail was there. Another thing that was uh, really cool about this is one of the writers mentioned in the doc that the old Star Trek show was like listening to classical music, and they said, when we make this, it has to be rock and roll. It has to be more, uh, more action, better pacing. So this transfer is amazing on the Blu-ray. Even shots where, of like empty space where you just see galaxies and stars, I just could look at that for hours. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So they shot on an anamorphic lens which actually collects uh, like artifacts from lights. So what they did is they actually shot um, flashlights into the lens as they were filming. So when you're watching the movie and you see those, those lens flares, that's somebody actually shooting that into the camera. The set of the bridge is amazing. I just want to be on that All the sets are amazing, um, and they use them really well. Like, apparently the set for inside of the Romulan ship 
It was only a couple pieces, but they just kept moving them around to give different areas to make the bridge. And who knew that Sulu could be sexy again? Finally! <laughs> he was impressive! When he brought his sword out? I don't know. I don't who know. knew? I got a semi. Now this Blu-ray comes with a digital copy of the movie that you can put on your iPod or your computer. Not a big fan of this, but it's a nice little touch. Wait, Extra why this. aren't you a fan of this? Well, because who watches the movie on their iPod, really? And the, the, have, have you downloaded it? I've downloaded the copy. The quality's not so good. Not so good. What would you give this movie? Definitely gets a 95%. This is a must-own Blu-ray. If you own a Blu-ray player or PS3, you have to get this. I would give this a 96 or 97. I love this movie. I mean, I think the casting's amazing. The it's beautiful. They took so much time to do so much detail. The mm -hmm. acting's phenomenal. I enjoyed this movie thoroughly. I give it a 97% as well. I also agree. This movie is this is the one. Yeah, this, this is the one. This is the one that's gonna. Yeah. This crushes Star Wars. Sorry, yeah. sorry. Oh, it crushes it, and like, oh. If it's... I was a Star Trek fan, like a hardcore one, I'd be very, very happy. Look, with if I was a seven to fifteen year old and went to see this, I, this is the new Star Wars of our generation. Yeah, yeah. fanboys. Deal I'm with sorry, it. man. Deal uh. with it. I will not allow you to lecture me. No one can stop me.